I am back once again with more Mike's Game Glitches. Today I'm going to have some more Mega Man Glitches. You may remember a while back I did some on the Dr. Wily Castle stages. Well today I'm going to do some in Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, and Mega Man 4 for Nintendo. And also some for Mega Man 7 for Super Nintendo. This is a game that not many people have played, but it's pretty neat, so let's try them out. This one is from Mega Man 7 for Super Nintendo. First you'll need the Danger Rat power you get from Burst Man. Then you go to Cloud Man stage. At the end of the level, equip the Danger Rat just before entering the boss room with Cloud Man. Just as you're running into the door to his room, fire the Danger Rat. It needs to be done nearly simultaneous or else it won't work. If you get it off correctly, the Rat will follow you into Cloud Man's room, float into the air, and catch Cloud Man before he even appears. That may seem fucked up, but what's even more fucked up is what happens next. Cloud Man falls onto the ground and just sort of makes weird noises for several minutes, and the game glitches out. Unusual. Here's a glitch from Mega Man 3. Remember these duck enemies on Gemini Man stage? Ever thought to yourself, hey, I'd really like to turn that duck into a lizard? Well, now you can. On Gemini Man stage, before you enter the area with Proto Man, hold right on the second player's controller. This will activate your super jump. Now you're going to need to use controller 1. If you had a hard time trying to use two controllers at once, place controller 2 on the ground, and you can just press right with your toe. You should go far enough to pass through the floor. You'll notice that when Proto Man's music stops, there'll be no music at all. That in itself is somewhat of a glitch. But if you keep going to where the duck enemies are in the middle of the stage, you'll see that they've glitched into lizard looking things. Well, isn't that just ducky? Now I have a few from Mega Man 4 you can try. For this one, when you get to the whale, equip the bright weapon. If you use it, you'll still be able to see the whale that's supposed to be dead. Next is a trick you can do with the wire adapter. If you use the wire adapter on this part with the beams of light, Mega Man will be standing on air. Mega Man can defy the law of gravity if he wants to. That's why they call him Mega Man, I guess. Another perplexing little thing you can do is if you use the rush submarine in the water, if you just hold the button, your sub will float in the air. Yeah, gravity is Mega Man's bitch. Now, what if we were trying to use the wire adapter on a scrolling stage? I tried this out on Cossack Level 3, and here's what happens. Use the wire adapter and hold on. Whoa! Mega Man went into the sky! What the fuck? Where am I? Just a warning, if you do this one, there'll be no way to die since there's no time limit, so you'll have to reset the game. And last but not least, we got a few tricks in Mega Man 2. Here's a peculiar one. Normally when entering a stage, there's a star field behind the boss, right? Well, if you press A, B, and start while entering a stage, the star field will become a bunch of birds. And if you enter the stage while holding down and select, the star field will become Inspector Gadget eating a brown banana. Eh, just kidding. The bird one works, though. For this next one, on Bubble Man stage, if you just keep pausing and unpausing while holding right, you can get Mega Man to the top of the screen where he's not supposed to be able to go. Then if you keep pressing around on the D-pad, the screen will scroll to the right, and you'll end up past the ceiling spikes, and then you get hit by... nothing. The last trick I have for you today is on Crash Man stage. This one's really easy. Use item 1, the helicopter platforms, and just let them take you off the screen like so. You'll be put into the floor. Then you can move all over the level in ways you're not supposed to. See, I'm walking on air. What sense does this make? Fuck! 